of Fishtails videos, I'm going to be fly fishing for bass, both with poppers and streamers, and sharing some of my tips and strategies on how I like to catch them, what works best for me, and also some of the gear I like to use. So, starting with gear, first is a rod and reel I like to use with my popper setup, and this is an eight weight Stealth Outlaw rod. It's a great rod for the price, lifetime warranty, and just a nice fast action on it. The reel I'm using is a PC Fun Plat Pro reel, and you should get these while they're still available. If you happen to find them on PCFun.com, you can get an 18% off discount with FT18. This is a seal drag, smooth drag. You can use it in salt water, fresh water. And then as far as setup, I'm using floating line with a leader that starts with about 25 pound down to about 12 pound fluorocarbon. As for my streamer setup, I have an Outlaw Rod 6 weight. I'm not using that big of a streamer today. I'm just using muddler minnows, which is a little weighted cone head and a little bit of flash and a little zonker hair. And that's all that you need to catch these fish. A couple things I also like to bring with me is a nice net. You can easily net them when you're fighting them. And then when you're dealing with getting a picture and getting the camera out, you can have that in the net. So an old pros outdoor professional net that I like to use is a great way to go. Another thing I like to use when I'm wading in the water is wading boots with neoprene socks. And so you can see the ones that I have to keep the rocks from getting in your feet. Another thing I have on my belt is an outdoor professional's third hand rod holder. And that's for another rod when I can take with me. If I want a streamer rod and a popper rod, I don't have to switch every time and retie. I can just have the two rods along with me. Having a nice pair of glasses that are polarized also makes it helpful so you can see where you're walking in the water and not trip on rocks and stumps and also see the fish if you're sight fishing. There's a thick weed line here and it just goes for a long time down the river. And so you got to cover a lot of ground when you're wade fishing sometimes to find the fish and they're not always spread out evenly. So one thing I like to do is just kind of walk almost like you're taking a drift boat down and just walk the speed of the popper when it's going downstream with the current. You don't see any drag when it's swinging across downstream from you. You're just staying even from it and I'm just kind of walking slowly, popping, and then you see that natural buoyancy that it sits up high in the water when you're not pulling it. See right now it would be swinging downstream for me and it's not quite sitting as high up and the fish know that somehow they just they don't, it doesn't look natural and they don't like it so walk the speed of the current downstream and you're keeping that natural look to your fly and you're covering a lot of ground at the same time there's a fish oh that was cool look at that just smashed that thing so fast Oh, under my feet. Got the eight weight to cast out these poppers and it also fights the fish nicely. Can handle a big smallmouth and current. You're not using too flimsy of a rod, like a little four. Even a five weight can be too little for these. I like six weights for streamers and casting those out, but eight weight for a popper and... All right, I'm just gonna use this net to reach a little further here, make it a little easier. And there he is. Our first fish of the morning. Nice fish though. Just swallowed that popper. We're gonna let this guy go. As for hook setting, you can't beat a good strip set. When you're fishing snook on a beach, bass on a popper like this. You just wanted the fish to take it underwater and then obviously keep that line tight beforehand so you're not picking up a lot of slack and then just simply pull and then lift the rod up once you know you've felt that fish and set the hook all right we're gonna drift this popper right under this tree here we got lots of area that can drop things from birds and bugs could be some bass sitting right under here come on Oh, there's a, there was a hit. Oh, and he hit it twice. Look at that. You could tell there was gonna be something drifting under this tree. You got fallen wood, you got just lots of stuff that can drop things in the water and these fish love to hang out under a tree. So we got this weed edge here that drops off and we got a lot of bait fish just sitting on the edge. You can see them surfacing right here. So could be some big fish just waiting for school of minnows and whatever else to come through on the surface. So I'm gonna go ahead and cast downstream. And with the current being so slow, it's kind of easy to work it back upstream, which isn't a common way to work your fly. 
Oh, here we go. Right off those weeds, he's got some decent head shakes. <laughs> Came up on the popper. And he is, oh, <laughs> wow. Let's get him on the PC Fun Plat reel here. Getting the job done with the drag. What a strong fish. <laughs> okay. You getting tired yet? He beats the other popper fish I had. Look at that. That's a healthy one. Got him. That's a beautiful fish. Right on the top of the water and just slipped out. Now we're going to let this chunky smallmouth here go. What? Oh my gosh. I got it right out of the tree and I did nothing with it and a smallie just smashed it. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> just putzing with my camera and look at that. Just goes to show you, you don't have to do anything with that popper. Just put it in and sometimes just watching a fish hit it is all you gotta do. Wow. So this is a tough spot in here. We got some trees and it's real deep and it's hard to, to get a cast, obviously, at those trees because these are in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and cast out and have it swing downstream slowly and see if I can get into that strike zone and maybe hook up with a fish. And even to do that, I'm going to have to cast backwards and then let it go on my back cast. I'm just letting this thing drift slowly downstream waiting to hopefully feel a thump not really twitching it too much there's a fish right at the end of that swing just a slow swing and he clobbered it just on that little muddler and he fights so hard downstream wow he's bigger than i thought hasn't jumped out yet so it's hard to see Oh yeah, he's a good fish. Get out of those trees. Nice fish. There. But there he is, beautiful smallie. And he's in the net. Look at this. Nice, fat, chunky smallie, right on the roof of the mouth, perfect hook set. Little muddler streamer. That is so much fun. Well, this big old smallie took this tiny little muddler streamer. That's all they need. Just a slow swinging streamer right in front of their face. And a big old smallie will eat that any day of the week. When I'm working my way around shore, I like to see the bait that's swimming around and see the size of it and the color so I can kind of find that right streamer and match the hatch like a trout fisherman would do. There we go, pretty early into the swing, and I can't quite tell how big he is yet. Oh yeah, there he is. Get over here, just a blast. Streamer Smalley, they are plentiful up here. Again, not every fish is gonna be a 22 inch, seven pound trophy, but they're all about the same in spirit and fight. Awesome. So right now, I'm about as far as I can before I get to the trees behind me. And then I'm gonna look forward, and there it is. Mend, just bring that fly over their heads. And just saw my fly disappear. I was watching it. <laughs> and there he was, on the end of my line. Okay. This is a pretty good fish. What I love about these mother minnow flies is the hook is just so thin. Look at him. That hook is just so thin and it just sets the hook so well. Now I'm probably jinxing myself here, but I haven't lost a fish since I've had a hit. They just get on and stay on. Yes. 
<laughs> How much fun is that? It's just sitting there in the current behind the rocks. Another swinging streamer, Smalley. Let's go. I'm gonna use a net because he's downstream for me and easier to reach for him. Come on. <laughs> no, he's he's a big guy. Oh, we got him. We got him. Check that out. Another chunky Smalley on that muddler minnow, and that time that hook just was ready to come out. Beautiful fish. Can't think of a better way to catch these things than on a streamer or popper. And there you go. 